Now let's take a look at scanning documents on the iPhone. There are more ways to do it. At first, I'll show you the easiest, the most basic one that's already built into the iPhone. But then later on, I'll also show you a bit more advanced way to go about it. So let's get started with this video right now. So the easier method, which I think most people out there should be using, is with the built-in files app from Apple. So on your home screen, just locate the files app. It's the blue folder on white background. And of course, open it up like this. Then at the bottom of the page, you can three different toggles in the tab bar. I want you to click on the browse icon and actually tap it a few times until nothing happens anymore. And that way you should end up in this browse section. Here are all the locations, favorites and tags, but also in the upper right corner, there is this three dots button that will show you more options. So tap on that. And the very first button there is literally one to scan your documents, click on that. And now all you have to do is to position any document in the frame. Make sure you fit the whole page inside the photo and just tap the shutter button. It's the same thing as if you were taking a photo. The software will try to detect the edges of the paper. This is useful because it gets most of the work done for you. And also a good tip would be to have a dark background behind it or anything with a higher contrast. This would make it easier for the app to detect corners of the document. But this shouldn't really be a problem because after you take a photo of that document, you can use the corner tool to adjust the corners of the document. This is the crucial part if you want to make your document look professional. So just adjust the corners as you see fit and hit the keep scan button. And now you can keep on scanning multiple other documents. What you're creating at this point is one PDF file, which will contain as many scanned documents as you want and all of them will be put together in one file. So if that's something you want, just keep on scanning. It's also possible to make it black and white if that's something you want. So further adjustments can be made after tapping on the documents icon. There you can once again crop the file, change the filters, so make it black and white, or even rotate it to make it landscape. If you're happy about it, then hit the save button. This will show you the folders in your files app, so you can now decide where exactly the files is supposed to be located. Also, at the bottom, you can rename the document because by default, it doesn't really have any useful name and chances are that you won't be able to find it in the future. So definitely rename it. And also, if you wanna be organized even more, make sure to also add some tags to it. After that, you just hit save and you're done with it. Okay, so this was the first method. The second one is very similar, but that one uses a third-party application. In fact, there are plenty of different apps you can use for this purpose. One of the popular ones is called Cam Scanner. It has a free version as well as a subscription, but the point of downloading and using a third-party app for something that you can do natively within iOS is that you get more features and possibilities with these other apps. Cam Scanner works in a similar way. You, again, take a picture of your document, crop it, adjust corners, and change filters. But this app has some advanced functions like ID scanning, optical character recognition, allowing scanned documents to be converted into editable and searchable text. Or, for example, it has cloud synchronization. Cam Scanner usually offers the ability to sync your scanned documents across multiple devices via cloud storage services. And there is also collaboration and scanning options. So yeah, for some basic document scanning, the built-in files app will be more than enough. But if you're serious with it, then I would consider downloading some dedicated app for it. By the way, the cam scanner is just an example. Besides this, there are some other similar apps that do the same. You just need to search the term scan documents in the app store and find the one you like the most. Anyways, that would be about it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to leave a like on it because it definitely helps out the channel. If you want to stay tuned and see more of this type of content, just subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.